Golly, what's Walter up to now? With origami, you can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. <laughs> objects of beauty? Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. <laughs> messes with me now, they'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. Ah! 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 Oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of Ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. Hi! <laughs> Very impressive. Told you! <laughs> Better than your paper folding any time! Oh! How about a little contest then? Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. OK. Bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes. Uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this Dendo, You'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest. Come off it, Curly. It's Walter. I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to Dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Hey! -ya! was beginner's luck, Nasha. And anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this and this. Like this? And this. And then... <laughs> you have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. <laughs> the pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes, yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter or I'll have to get some help. <laughs> I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Gran! <gasps> Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough! Favourite grandson, 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. <laughs> The contest begin. To water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. <sighs> that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly. And together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! Ah! 
Pass me a water, please, Jen. Catch! Oh. Oi! This is Fizzy Orange. <laughs> so? <laughs> Watch it! I wanted water. <laughs> Look out! Oh, you boys, settle down. Miss, I wouldn't take that one. A book. <laughs> I'll be talking to your parents about tonight. Eh? Parents' evening, Dennis. Or had you forgotten? Maybe you shouldn't have wound up creatures so close to parents' evening. Hey, chill. I've got a plan. Are you going to find a way to stop your mum and dad coming to school like you did last year? <laughs> nah. I bet he's going to try and stop creature like he did the year before. <laughs> right, Dennis? Meet me at the treehouse after school. Then you'll find out. OK, so I'm wearing one of your dad's suits. Now what? Me mum and dad are going to meet a teacher at parents' evening. But it won't be creature. Oh, like a substitute teacher. Exactly. You're going to be our substitute teacher and tell them I'm brilliant. But why me? Well, it can't be me. And it certainly can't be Pie Face, unless he taught at clown school. <laughs> <laughs> look at me! I'm a teacher! <laughs> you look the part, Curly. Now act it. <clears throat> you boy, come to the front of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind telling the rest of us what you think is funny? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to work on your teacher act. Menace one to clown feet. Are you receiving me? Eh? Who said that? Pick up your walkie-talkie! Oh! Ah! Hello, Dennis! It's code names from now on, Pie Face. I mean, clown feet. Uh, sorry, De... Uh, what's your code name again? Menace one! OK, Menace one. I'm in position. Good. Get ready for incoming parents. Over and out. Menace one to Mr. Din. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear, Menace one. Are you ready, Mr. Din? I think so. I compliment your mum on her hair. Talk to your dad about rubber bands and paper clips and... Uh... Oh, I tell him you're an A grey student. That's it. Good luck. Over and out. <laughs> Game on. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Walter. Uh, happy parents' evening. Uh, what are you up to? I'm a greeter. I'm here to welcome you to parents' evening. So, <laughs> welcome. This way. Go on. Face. Ah, oh, good evening, Dennis's dad and uh, Mrs. Dennis's dad. Welcome to parents' evening. I'll show you where to go. Uh, follow me. Not that way, Pie Face. Hey, eh? oh yeah. Uh, right, this way. Come on. So far, so good, Nasha. Let's hope Curly can keep his end up. Here we are, and here comes Mr. Din. What happened to Mrs. Creature? Uh, she's on le leave uh, for stress. So, uh, Mr. Uh... Din, but you can call me Stan. Standing? Nice to meet you, Stan. Uh, we're very interested to hear all about our son, Dennis. Menace one to clown feet. Menace one to clown feet. Rendezvous outside hall. What's that? Nothing. Uh, gotta go. Duty calls. How's Curly doing, Pie Face? Everything going to plan? Yeah, he's doing a great job, I think. Right. 
We'll go and keep an eye on Creature. Let's get into position. <laughs> now then, to business. That's a nice tie you've got there. I have one just like it, except that mine's got a blob of gravy right about the... Hey, you've got exactly the same stain. I do? I do? Yes, I do! <laughs> what a coincidence! Uh, how can I explain that? Oh, no need to explain. <laughs> you obviously love gravy just as much as I do. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's it. Uh, oh. So, uh, let's take a seat, shall we, and, and talk about your son. And may I say, Mrs... Uh, uh, Dennis, your, uh, your hair. Yes, your, your hair. Uh, my hair? It's great. Lovely cut. <laughs> nice style. Great, uh, great hairstyle. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh-oh, trouble. Quick, Nasher, in here. Highface <laughs> was here a minute ago, miss, showing all the parents the way to go. Hmm. Well, in that case, where are Dennis's mum and dad? I'm supposed to be with them now. Oh, ha! That's it! He must have taken them somewhere else. Then we'd better find them. Come on. Venice Swan to clown feet. Red alert! Creatures on the warpath! Ah! Make sure she doesn't come towards the hall. OK, I'm on it. Over and out. <laughs> for you to talk to my parents, though, won't they, Mrs Creature? I don't want them to miss out. Depends how quickly we can find Dennis's parents, Walter. <laughs> Creature's right outside the hall. Copy that. Blockade the door and stop them from getting in. I'm just about to cause a distraction. <laughs> Door isn't usually locked. Go, go, go! <laughs> if that dog is here, Dennis must be too. After him! I have a feeling someone doesn't want us to see what's behind these doors. Well, I'll show them. <laughs> So I said to him, those paper clips are hand tooled, you know. <laughs> yes, I had a similar experience at uh, Clipcom back in 05. Yeah. Well, yes, it's great that you two share some interests, but what about our son? How's he been getting on? Ah, yes, uh, uh, an excellent pupil, uh, very funny. <laughs> Great imagination and oh, what he can do with rubber bands! <laughs> really? Takes after his old dad, does he? <laughs> Nobody's going to stop my teacher from telling my parents how brilliant I am. Walter, what's the meaning of this? Who are you? <laughs> Nasha, Mrs. Creature. I thought you were on leave. With stress. I may well be next term. Stan here has been filling us in on Dennis's good work. <laughs> <gasps> oh, sorry. I... Oh, dear me. I... Here we are. Here's your glasses and, and, and your moustache and... and, and... Oh! oh! Mr Dintermanish one, you better come to the hall. Over and most definitely out. <laughs> Curly, I thought better of you. And pie face too. Sorry, Sorry Mrs. Mrs. Creature. Since you worked together in this ridiculous scheme, you're all going to be punished. Ha! I recommend that they all go to summer school. Oh no! No! They can't go to summer school! They'll ruin everything! Um, it's just not fair! I can't believe it! No one ever thinks about I'd better go and speak to Walter's parents. That'll cheer him up. Don't be too disappointed, son. You still get to spend the summer with your two best friends. That's true. Perhaps it won't be too bad after all.
Oh! Hi, Mum and Dad. Dennis? We have someone we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, 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 no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> Smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any more of this. Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the talk it through teepee. And the contemplation kennel. <sighs> and we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, uh, good to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. 
It can, Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. You've got to take a note to curl him pie face. <laughs> Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yoghurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know, if he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right. You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, He's going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Why to Walters, Jen? Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me! I'm Rainy! Whee! It can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty! <laughs> and so artistic! <laughs> Walter? Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it! Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Den. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result. <laughs> <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> oh! Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. 
Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parky Bowls' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater. But be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Ah, ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, it's no good. There's not even anything in the extra super emergency fund. How am I going to get Mum a Mother's Day gift? I know. She likes music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na, na, na. Brilliant! Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. She'll wake B up! Stop that horrible racket at once! So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but... Uh... Hurry it up, Curly! I'm getting a crick in me neck! Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? I'm quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, it looks really good, pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. <laughs> yoo Dennis! Oh, uh, hello, Gran. Hmm, what are you up to? Oh, uh, well... Uh, I was thinking about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! There. That'll do the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum'll never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Super 
IGP Battle of the Champions! Oh, thanks, son! See what he got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. you what, Nasha. We'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey! My hat! Hey! Must be caught on a root or something! So then he said, Pardon me, Al! Is that the car that you in your shoes? <laughs> 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 Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Now let's all just calm down. <laughs> and now, Dennis and Nasha the Wonder Dog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch! 
ending. Oh, oh, Nasha, where are you? <laughs> where are you going with that? Nasha's already got a kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hut. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. This is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats? These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. This a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. These lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's khaki, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry? Nice, eh? Hmm. But this one. Oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out, he's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? Yes. <laughs> You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you are. Agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember.
remember. Quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. In, Usher. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> Oh, uh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good, because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll, uh... Hop after him! Fluff! I mean, Nasher! Here, boy! Oh, look at my glasses! Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens! Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh, there's no need. <laughs> they went behind the shed. Good, there's no escape. Leave it to me. Like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No, sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. So. Oh. Uh, uh, to me, silly <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. Oh no, we'll never find him now. Wait a minute, Jane. Look. Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite, seaweed and spinach. <laughs> Look, Dad, he's heading for that tree. A job for Nasher. Bad rabbit, bad boy. <laughs> Pierre, oh, I didn't mean it. Come back. <laughs> Fluff, jump. And Nasher. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing really. And it looks like Nasher helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian white haired tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him. He's traumatised. Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Den. I think he likes you. <laughs> Shh. We borrowed the extra loud speakers, Jen. Can we set up in the tree house? Not yet, Pyface. Mum and Dad are still here. I remember how they moaned last time we played. We could try playing a bit softer. It wouldn't be much of a video for the din makers then, would it? Anyway, Athena wants it loud. 
Now she thinks she's a music video director. But she did say she'd show it to her dad, Dan. Yeah. If she thinks it's cool, she's going to play it to Rat Bucket. And if he thinks it's cool, whoa! So, we better be nice to her. Now, I've just got to get rid of Mum and Dad. What? You said you were going off to a meeting. You said you were going to be gone all day. We are. It's a special meeting of the Neighbourhood Watch next door. For young people. The Mayor's coming. The Colonel says you must be there. He wants you to help him with his talk. It'll be a nice way to make up for the trouble you caused him. It wasn't my fault his window was broken. I insist you go. It's the only way he's going to forgive us. Now go and get changed, or I'll be confiscating that guitar of yours. What? <laughs> guitar? Not today! Nasha, you're going to have to warn Curly and Pieface <gasps> that we've been caught for this meeting, that it's next door, that we'll escape as soon as we can, that... <laughs> OK, I'll write a note. Just grab a trouser leg in your teeth and hold them till they've read it. <laughs> to be a fine young man years later, and we can only hope that that is the case here. <laughs> Did you give him the note? Not... Was Athena there? Some of you may have heard of the Mayor's new campaign. Young Street Heroes, it's called. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll do this if you don't mind. Yes, it's an award for youngsters who contribute most to their neighbourhood. Like our very own Walter, for example. Athena will be there by now. We have to go! And now, how youngsters can help protect our neighbourhood. Lights, please, Walter. Head for the toilet, OK? <laughs> How to recognise a bad type. First, notice the eyes. Where's Athena? Oh, yeah. She texted to say she's going to be late. Oh, no! I'll have to get back then. Mum will go mad if she finds I'm not there. And Athena will go mad if she finds you're not here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Thanks, Pie Face. Just let me know the moment she arrives. Right. I'll do one of me bird calls. Easy to slip back in the dark. Ah, that's right. Up you come. As I was saying, I've specially invited two well-known local hooligans to join us. Justin, one, two, three. And so, thanks to forward planning, the hooligans are disarmed. They're gonna start playing. If anyone hears them, we're done for. Talking earlier about noise pollution, Colonel. Uh, can we give you a demonstration? My <laughs> 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 face. I think I see Athena. I can't hear you. <laughs> yes, yes, that's enough. Thank you. That's very good. All right. Quiet. Quiet. It's wonderful to be able to call on genuine troublemakers from the locale. In order Quack! To the steps, we are that means Athena must be there. We can't keep her waiting or she'll throw a wobbler. What are you doing, Dennis? Uh, you know, I needed the toilet before. Uh, well, I'll do again. <laughs> and so does Nasha. OK, Nasha, you wait here. If I'm needed, bark loudly. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Uh, what's happening? You owe me one, Dennis. I'm missing my nail therapist because of these idiots. We're fixing it. 
is just a small explosion type thing. Can't they speed it up a bit? <laughs> no! What? Not you. Uh, no, yes, they can. And I'm going to help too. I think I saw a loose wire uh, under the stage. I'll be back in a minute. I'm warning you. Five minutes, then I'm taking my talent elsewhere. Give us a signal the moment you're ready. I'll do me owl. Oh, wait. What happens if a real owl flies past? It won't sound like yours. Yes, up here. Up here this way. Now, let's see what happens when a young hooligan tries to pick the lock on Walter's special lunchbox. I don't pick locks. I've never picked a lock in my life. Go on, try then. <laughs> Hilarious. Can I go now? <laughs> As you can see, that's one padlock that won't be picked. Ooh that's my face. We got to go. Dennis, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Mum, uh, but uh... oh, you're very hot for someone who's just been sitting still. Perhaps you should go home. Home? Yes. Uh, great idea. I'll come with you. Actually, uh, it might be better to stay here in the quiet. You go back to your seat. Oh, if you're sure. But I don't want to see you stirring from here. We've got to go! Athena will be going mad! His Worship, the Mayor! No! Oh, how do we get past that lot? It's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Yes, and uh, the elasticity is uh, really quite surprising, Your Worship. <laughs> it's okay, Poochie. It's only Nasha. <laughs> Millennium. It's okay. I'm gonna change. Start the intro, guys. <gasps> what was that? Aha! Hooligans! Till Miss Miniwuff's down again. <laughs> okay, I'll get it. And don't play, or she'll panic and fall. When she gets stressed, she needs soothing. And play something soothing. Today, they're noisy, antisocial, and they lower the tone of the neighborhood. Dennis, I am going to make an example of you. Yes, you, because you're not like the others. I heard the gentle music you were playing. I saw you rescue that poor pup from the tree. And I heard from your mother that you've not been feeling at all well, too. Come forward, young man. You and your faithful hound are young street heroes! Yeah! Young street heroes? <laughs> Not a bad name for a band. <laughs> 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 